December 23, our deepest need at Christmas. He shall stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord, his God. And the, they shall dwell securely, for now he shall be great, to the ends of the earth, and he shall be their peace. Micah 5, verses 4 and 5. He shall be great to the ends of the earth, Micah prophesies. There shall be no pockets of resistance unsubdued. Our security will not be threatened by any alien forces. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess him Lord. The whole earth will be filled with his glory and he will be our peace. Yes, in this context, that includes final earthly political peace. Micah spoke of it already in Micah 4 verse 3. He shall judge between many peoples and shall decide for strong nations afar away. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn what was war, neither shall they learn war any more. One day the ruler, the king of kings and the lord of lords will return and make that a reality. The great Christmas carol will finally be fulfilled. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love. But there is another deeper peace, a peace that must happen before there can be peace on earth. There must be peace between us and God. Our belief in his wrath must be removed. That is our deepest peace and our deepest need at Christmas. Micah knew it was coming. He had experienced it personally. He describes it beautifully at the very end of his book in Micah 7 verses 18 and 19. Who is God like you, parting, pardoning iniquity and passing over transgression for the remnant of his inheritance? He does not retain his anger forever because his delight is steadfast love. He will again have compassion on us. He will tread our iniquities underfoot. You will cast all our sin into the depths of the sea. This was the great work of the Messiah yet to be done. Yes, there are enemies on earth that must be defeated if we are to have peace, but oh, the great enemy called sin and judgment, that is the greatest and worst enemy. The gospel at Christmas is, Christ has trampled this enemy underfoot at the cross. So for everyone who trusts in him, their sins are cast into the depths of the sea. Therefore we say, not glory to us, but, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased.